So I just got done with a meeting at work and funny story, um, they sort of sat me down and said, listen, we're going to throw you out of a plane. Maybe this happens to you all the time, uh, but I've never even been fired from a job, much less sort of flung from one from like 10,000 feet. But that's kind of how it is at Tonic. There's no second chances. Uh, you steal, you borrow uh, one person's lunch from the fridge like one time, and then suddenly everybody's voting against you. It wasn't even a whole lunch, it was a snack pack. Turns out there's this charity called Leap for Life that called Tonic.com recently, and I guess was like, hey, uh, do you guys have any dispensable, unpopular employees who could maybe participate in this sort of voluntarily. The way Leap for Life works is they encourage people to conquer their fears by falling out of the sky for cancer research, to fund cancer research. So this is a lot like those 5k races for charity. Um, except steeper, for one thing, and uh, no one wins. This year's leap, it turns out, uh, is to benefit Alex's Lemonade Stand, which is this amazing charity that's raised like $45 million. Your job is to fund me, uh, sort of sponsor me by donating money to cancer research. 100% of your money will go to cancer research. My job, uh, the job I have been chosen to do, to be strapped to an experienced skydiver, or I hope he's an experienced skydiver, and then plunge to the earth while still attached to him, like a sort of terrified little barnacle, and then break his fall when the parachute doesn't open. It's pretty obvious that I'm not going to survive this whole thing, uh, but I've taken enough economics classes to know that that's not necessarily a deal breaker. First of all, let's take a look at who is going to miss me. Um, I'm not married. I don't have any kids. So pretty much just my mom. My mom does love me um, a lot, but she's, she's just like that. She loves everybody, whether she gave birth to them or not. Mom, they told me they were going to throw me out of a plane. <sighs> yeah, you can call me back. So if they fire me, can I come back home? Hello? I'd say that's worth, like, three grand. Tops. She has another kid. It's, it's fine. But what about the skills that I bring to the world? Unfortunately for me, I'm a writer. <laughs> So that's worthless. Uh, there are a billion of us, and um, yeah. What do I do? What do I do for a living? I communicate in my native language for money. Biggest scam ever. I'll splat onto the ground. They'll replace me with one Craigslist ad, and it'll be fine. What else? Uh, what else? My jeans. But if I'm going to be honest with myself, I'm not really an impressive specimen or I'm actually kind of frail. I'm sick right now, for instance. I probably won't survive the jump even if everything goes well. You add up the mom tax and the rider replacement fee and the bargain basement DNA price and uh, what do you have? You've got $5,000. My, my whole life is worth $5,000. That's how much I'll jump for. I'm not gonna jump for less. Yeah, it'll be hard to find another job, but I'm not a complete doormat. I don't just give my self-respect away. I sell it for a nominal fee. So that's it. That's the deal. $5,000. If you want to fund cancer research while also throwing me out of a plane, if you're that kind of multitasker, that's how much you're going to have to raise. I'm not a finance expert or anything, but I personally recommend keeping your money. The stock market's crashing, anarchy's probably going to set in soon, and you're going to need that money for anarchy supplies, like 
billy clubs. If most of you do the smart thing and keep your money, I'll just refuse to jump and I'll update my resume and call in a few favors and move back into my parents' basement and that'll be it. Whatever. Just let me know. I'll be here.